so hi everyone so this is a session on disanimation elements and in today's session we will study center to center distance problem in the design of spark gears in the coming slides we will see how to select a material to find a vehicle element then to we will find the module third step which is the most important step in the design of spark gears then we will find dynamic load and wear load and we will compare dynamic load if the dynamic load is less than wear load or not if the ft is less than fw our design is safe so this is a question which we classify as type 2 where the diameter is known this is a question a pin shaft is connected to 25 kilowatts 1000 rpm motor center to center distance is about 300 mm center to center distance is given as 300 mm so we have the pinion and the gear this distance is given as 300 mm from the figure we can see that this distance is the sum of radius r1 and r2 further it is given speed reduction is 2.5 is to 1 so in terms of diameter I can write the diameter is denoted by d1 for the pinion and d2 for the gear so we have the pinion and the gear I can write 2.5 by 1 equal to d2 by d1 equal to z2 by z1 equal to n1 by n2 where n1 and n2 are the speeds metal is already given pinion made of steel 200 newton per mm square 250 bh gear made of cast iron 180 newton per mm square with 200 bh teeth are of 20 degree full depth involute this is a pressure angle design the gears so we'll see each step by step. So write all the given details. First we will find what is the diameter given from the center to center distance. We are given center distance is 300 mm. As we have said 300 mm is equal to sum of the radius equal to R1 plus R2 or in terms of diameter I can write in terms of the diameter d1 and d2 r1 plus r2 equal to d1 plus d2 by 2 but it was given speed reduction is 2.5 is to 1 so 2.5 by 1 equal to d2 by d1 from these two equations I can find the values of d1 and d2 after substitution I will get d1 equal to 171.4 mm and d2 equal to 428.6 mm so this is the type 2 problem where the diameters of the gear and pinion is given so now we will see the first step of the design here first step is to select the material here material is already given we just need to write what are the material so pinion is made of steel so sigma d1 is given as 200 newton per mm square and corresponding bhn is 250 250 bhn the hardest number sigma d2 is given as 180 newton per millimeter square with 200 pH. So first step is very easy we are, we are given the material. Second step is to find the weaker element. From this step onwards there will be slight change in the design. First thing 
we have to find the strength factor sigma d into y sigma d is already given sigma d1 and sigma d2 they are given however y is also given y equal to 0.1544 minus 0 0.912 by z for 20 degree full depth involute so i'll take this equation y equal to 0.154 minus 0.912 by z where z is the number of teeth z is the number of teeth how to find z for this type of questions i will take z from the table only to find the value y so i use a temporary value z1 from this table because module equal to diameter by z m equal to d by z we already know the value of diameter we have known values are diameter is known if you take z from the table module equal to diameter by z such a module cannot be classified or cannot be specified to take the enough the torque so module sh cannot be found from these two equations because di diameter is known z is also known if, if z is obtained from the table m equal to d by z such a module cannot take the load so module should be found from the strength equation levis equations so only to find the value of y we select the value of z1 from the table so from this table table 12.4 b z1 equal to 18 not this value we are using only to find the value y in the type 2 problem so y1 will be equal to 0.154 minus 0.912 by z1 and y2 equal to 0.154 minus 0.912 by z2 z1 equal to 18 and z2 equal to number of teeth is z1 and z2 we were given z2 by z1 equal to 2.5 z2 by z1 equal to 2.5 so z2 will be equal to 45 substituting these values i will get y1 as 0 0.103 minus 0 0.1 and y2 equal to 0.1337 we already know the value sigma d1 sigma d1 was equal to 200 newton per m square and sigma d2 equal to 180 newton per mm square after substitution i can find sigma d1 y1 sigma d1 y1 equal to 24.072 is less than sigma d2 y2 which was equal to sorry sigma d1 y1 was equal to 20.66 which is less than sigma d2 y2 which is equal to 24.072 from this step i can find pinion as a lower value so pinion is a weaker element and we have to design the pinion so note that this value of z1 is taken only to find the value of y in further steps we will substitute z1 in terms of the diameters now we will see the third step the most important step in the design m equal to 
cube root of 2 mt by sigma d c v k y z where k equal to b by m in our 12.5 f equation is given b should be between 9.5 to 12.5 m so first we will see what is module in this equation mt is the torque transmitted we are given the power and the rpm torque mt mt equal to 60 p by 2 pi n power equal to 25 kilowatts so 25 multiplied by 10 power 6 newton millimeter per second speed n should be the speed of the pinion since we are designing the pinion pinion speed is 1000 rpm we will get mt equal to 2.38 into 10 power 5 newton millimeter so we have found the value of mt sigma d equal to sigma d1 equal to 200 newton per mm square since pinion is weaker pinion is weaker element we have to design the pinion then I will find CV in the next slide K equal to B by M so here B should be between 9.5 to 12.5 M so I will take the mean value B equal to 11 M so K will be equal to B by M equal to 11 so I have found the value of sigma D K also capital Y I will write as pi Y and Z equal to Z1 equal to D1 by M equal to diameter is known 171.4 I will neglect that decimal points so 171 by M so we have found the value of Y and Z and the only value we had found is CV which we will have found from the next slide to find the value of cv that is a velocity factor i need to find the velocity velocity equal to pi d1 n1 by 60 here diameter should be substituted in more meters since the velocity should be in meters per second so pi into d1 was obtained as 171.4 mm equal to 0.171 meters 0.171 multiplied by 1060 I will get that value equal to 8.95 meters per second when we see this table see this equations I can find the velocity is greater than 8 but velocity up to 13 meter per second I will use equation 12.6 B so CV equal to 4.58 by 4.58 plus V substitute this value velocity equal to 8.95 I will get CV equal to 0.3384 so I have found all the equation all the values to be substituted in this equation so I will rewrite that equation m cube equal to 2 m t by sigma d c v k capital y z where m t equal to 2.38 into 10 power 5 newton millimeter that is a torque which we obtain from power and rpm sigma d was given as 200 newton per mm square for the pinion CV was obtained as 0 0.3384 K equal to B by M equal to 11 capital Y equal to pi Y module equal to D by M D1 by M 
equal to 171 by m after substitution one of the m will get cancelled from this equation I will get m cube by m into y or it is equal to m square y equal to 1.193 so when you use the type 2 when we get the type 2 problem this will be the equation from the for finding the module m square y equal to 1.193 so here we have to note that z should be substituted in times of diameter z equal to d by m now we will solve this equation it's a very simple step we need to find the module to find the module we will prepare a table with four columns module teeth y and m square y so number of teeth we will find for the dime for the pinion so z1 equal to d1 by m d1 was found as 171 by m then we will find y and m square y equation for y was equal to 0.154 minus 0.912 by z for 20 degree in width. First we select the trial and error method. I will select 2 mm. So substituting z1 will be equal to 171 by 2 equal to 85.5. So I will select the next higher value as 86. 86 y will be equal to y1 will be equal to 0 0.154 minus 0 0.912 by z1 will be equal to 86 equal to 0 0.1433 and m square y will be equal to 2 square into this 0.143 that value will be equal to 0 0.57 so our required value of m square y was equal to 1.193 for 2 mm this value is less than 1.193 hence it is unsafe we cannot use m equal to 2 mm modulus number 2 mm will be equal so we go for the next higher value 3 mm substitute is it equal to 3 by m z1 equal to 171 by module will be equal to 3 click it it is 57 teeth y will y1 will be equal to 0 0.138 and m square y will be equal to 3 square into 0 0.138 equal to 1.242 now see this value this value is greater than our required value 1.193 so I can select module as 3m. After finding the module, I can write all the dimensions of the gear from table 12.4a. So I can find addendum, datendum, all values, addendum, datendum, and all the values in that table. I can find that values. Okay. Right. So this completes our third step fourth and fifth step is similar to type 1 question we need to find FD and FW so in the type 2 problem we should note that we are using the value of Z1 only to value that is Z1 equal to 18 or Z1 equal to 32 that value we obtain from the table only to find the value Y in all other cases Z1 will be substituted by D1 by M in type 2 questions now the step is very clear now we will find FD and FW in order to find FD and FW this is our equation ta equation 12.12 in, in equation 12.12 FT equal to 2MT by D that is equation 12.8A MT is known diameter is D1 MT is equal to 2.38 into 10 power 5 Newton millimeter diameter D1 is also known diameter D1 equal to 171 mm 
I will get Ft equal to 2785 Newton. K3 equal to K3 equal to 20.67. Velocity for 3 mm was found as velocity was obtained by d1 n1 by 60 as 8.95 meters per second so we have got the velocity also phase width b equal to 11 m equal to module 11 into 3 mm module so 33 millimeters so b is also known so we need to find the value of c c is a dynamic factor how to find the value of c we will use that figure similar to the type 1 question we can locate the value pitch time velocity pitch time velocity is 8.95 which is just below 10 so I will plot that I will get f equal to permissible error f equal to 0 0.045 Now we will take that value 0 0.045 into the table 12.12. In table 12.12, we can see that our pressure angle is 20 degree involute. So this is our okay. and one of the material is cast iron. So this is cast iron and steel. For cast iron and steel, for 0 0.045 it is in between 0 0.04 and 0 0.06 so for point 0 0.04 it is 314.6 and for point 0 0.06 it is 471.9 so I will do the linear interpolation so my value is 0 0.045 which is in between point 0 0.04 and point 0 0.06 For 0 0.04 it is 314.6 for 0 0.06 it is 471.9 I need to find the value of C for 0 0.045 so I will do the linear interpolation after interpolation I will get this value of C C equal to 353.925 so I got all the values to find the value of FD I will substitute the values so FD was equal to 2785 K3 equal to 20.67 at this value velocity was equal to 8.95 meters per second C was obtained C equal to 353.9 phase with B equal to 33 mm after substitution I will get FD equal to 11535 Note. So this is a dynamic load applied on the gear and we have to make sure that this dynamic load does not produce any wear and tear. So I will find the wear and tear, wear load FW from page 208, D1BQK, very small equation. So here D1 is known, D1 was equal to 171.4 mm phase width B equal to 33 mm Q equal to 2 Z2 by Z1 plus Z2 from equation 12.15 C so 2 Z2 by Z1 plus Z2 equal to 2 into Z2 was equal to 45 divided by Z1 equal to 18 we will get Q equal to 
so after substituting all these values I will get fw in terms of k fw will be equal to d1 bqk that will be equal to 10759k now we will equate fd equal to fw because our step is that fw greater than or equal to fd I will equate fw equal to fd so 10759k equal to fd was obtained as 11535 11535 from this equation I will get the value of k k equal to 1.0721 so our selected value of k should be higher than 1.07 for it to be safe so to find the value of k to higher value of k I will use this table 12.16 table 12.16 mean page 239 I need to find steel and cast iron here we can see that the first column is for pinion the second one for is gear these are all for steel so this is steel and steel up to this line it is steel and steel Further, this steel and cast iron. So, this is our required area from which we have to find the value of K. Here, I can see that for pinion made of steel and gear made of cast iron. 0 0.412, 0 0.412, 0 0.814, and this value is 0.344, which is higher than our required value, that is 1 point greater than our required value 1.0721. So I can select this value 1.344 as the value of k, for which the hardness should be equal to 250 and 180 bhm. So I will select this value k equal to 1.344. So we'll write select k greater than 1.0721 from table 12.16. I'll select k equal to 1.344. So substituting this value in fw, fw will be equal to 10759k equal to 14460 Newton which is the required value to initiate wear what was the value of FD dynamic load was equal to 11535 so this is the applied dynamic load applied dynamic load and this is the minimum load for wear minimum load to initiate wear minimum load to for initiate wear new minimum load for wear so we can find that fd is less than fw hence our design is safe this completes our question now we'll to have a quick recap of what we have studied in type 2 question there is only slight change in step 2 and 3 first step is to select the material we can find it either find it from the table or it will be given in the question second one we have to find the weaker element only to find the weaker element we will be using the value of z1 a temporary value of z1 from the table z1 will be obtained from the table from that z1 i will find the value of y1 and y2 i will compare sigma d1 and sigma d2 and whichever is lower will be the weaker element so y will be found from the value of z in further equation to find the module z1 will be substituted in terms of diameter z1 equal to d1 by m 
and our final equation will be equal to m square y v equal to something then we will find the module by the trial and error method and fourth and fifth uh, remains the same we had find fd and fw and if fd is less than fw our design is safe thank you for watching